Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 4 of Let's Play Chrono, Tri Chrono, Chrono Trigger Crimson Echoes. So I just beat uh, the uh, golem boss, and we're gonna see what's going on. So Dalton has a hideout uh, up here in the north. See where that cave popped up? But before we do that, I am going to grind a little bit and level up some. Oh, what's this guy? Okay, we're back. Dalton, why can't he learn to try to live peacefully? Like all of us. The largest store in the world. Wow. That's pretty funny that this is the largest store in the world. like the Walmart of Zeal. So, I, I, I've done hardly anything this weekend except sleep. I've just been really sick. Uh, I, I saw my therapist on, uh, on two Thursday. She's like, well, April, you are sleep deprived. You need to go home and sleep. And even though I had this thing I was supposed to go to, I ended up not going. Look at that, he's like, like, oh, I, I don't, I don't agree with this. But that's funny. Alright, let's... Alright, so we need to take out one of those things. They can do a multiple time. Now, about the uh, Silentia server, it is not up right now, and you probably won't see any new episodes uh, of, of that for a while. Well, actually, there, there will be some... I am going to upload a new one. So I'm going to edit some of the ones that haven't been recorded yet. There's three episodes that haven't been uploaded yet, or even edited. Um, the service is, is on Wednesday at at 11 a.m. Pacific time. I better heal. Um, I it's unfortunate that I was uh, that I'm unable to attend, being. Uh, um, not being in the area where where Jeremy, Jeremy and his friend Eric lived, which is Portland. Uh, what you can do is uh, Jeremy was a fan of the o o Oregon Ducks, and their colors are like forest green and well, kind of the forest green that of this carpet here. So what you can do. What you can do is uh, get some balloons, get some green and forest green and light yellow balloons, and 
release those at around around 11 a.m. on Wednesday for uh, Jeremy. Okay, so let's go this way. I really don't want to fight, but I, we do need to level, level up. Oh, uh, so they're going to counterattack. Blackbird. I believe the walls are gold. Beautiful zeal, magic is norm. This type of magic is the most we put in form. Fire left. I'm going to say shadow. It's powered by what heavenly body? The moon. I think it's the I believe it's, it's the sun. There we go. I, I hope I've leveled up enough because for the, the next boss, which is going to be Dalton. What does this say? One thing you gotta watch out for in this game is that um, it's not like an Earthbound where if you die you just lose half your money. You have to you go back to, to uh, the last place you saved. And most RPGs are like this. Just Earthbound was just was just different like that. So did any, any of you guys catch uh, E3? Um, I, ca I caught as much as I could of it. Uh, I watched the, uh, I watched the Nintendo show, uh, on Tuesday. And I watched, and on Monday I watched the, 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 the Sony, uh, pre-show. Pre so let me tell you what, 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 what I thought was really interesting. So, here are some games that I, I found inter interesting. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. It's cool to see a new Don Don Donkey Kong Country game.
<laughs> and then it came to pass that Vernable Dalton, yes, he who su subjugated the golems, located the silver streak of zeal and, and taking it upon his mantle, declared the new kingdom as immortal one with Dalton an eternal re regent over. Huh? <laughs> Prophet. These games are over. Hi ya! Ha ha ha! Some other games I thought were really cool was uh, Super Mario. No. Well, yeah, the Super Mario 3D 3D World looked interesting. It didn't. I was what I was hoping for was a new uh was a new. Uh, a new 3D Mario game, meaning 3D as in like a sequel to Galaxy or another Super Mario World, Super Mario Brothers. No, okay, I am okay. Super Mario 64, like a sequel to that, because I really like Mario games like that, where, where it's like that, full on 3D, not just levels. But it was cool to see that the uh, multiplayer and the. Uh, Super Mario 3D World. Then there's Mario Kart 8, which won't be out until until uh, 2014. The, ga the game looks amazing, and whoa. Was I supposed to die just there? I guess so. And it kind of reminded me of F Zero because there's parts where where the where the game goes vertical and you're you're like upside down. It, it's Totally reminiscent of F Zero. I thought you actually had to fight Dalton. Scala. Speaking of. Sc Speaking of, of Scala. Huh, who's this? I really need to be paying attention. <laughs> then there was, uh, what else interests me? There's this game called Bayonetta. I think it was an it's an action RPG. Uh, can't remember what kind of game it was, but it looked really cool. I didn't like about, uh, I don't like the fact that 
that Microsoft is restricting the the consumer's uh, use its uh, ability to uh, ability to to, to 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 buy and use games because I usually buy games I don't buy them new all the time I'll wait until they drop in price or or something to get them used oh yeah the other thing was the um, the Wind Waker HD which looks really cool but I don't think much is gonna be different I don't know how much of it is gonna be different so yeah Profit. 